Continue on the My Five Five Hundred is part two of this video. I am uploading a video with this device, and it don't seems very reliable. But what what I do going to tell you is, if you're watching YouTube video, it's actually no problem whatsoever. Um, I will hopefully put example down the clip here a minute. Uh, see the how it's it 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 constantly um change it and it if in the house you will not be able to um upload it because the the area specifically I love doesn't seems want to um have very good internal inside um I don't know what you call it cellular. So, the conclusion of this device is great for what it's worth, but if you had to pay $190 or $190 or even $90, it probably, maybe $90 would be mid range, would be better, but I got this for $50, so I didn't have complaint. I just wanted to. Um, review this device because I thought it's interesting and cool and I will say I will my I will use this device for my iPad iPhone uh, the tablet that need internet access so and right now I am paying for um, 2 gig 4g slash 3g the other thing that we need to know is this doesn't work on 3G anymore. I don't know why. I don't know what happened to it. When I got it, it never worked on 3G. Um, just don't understand why. I have other 3G devices that currently connect to with Sprint 3G. And they are working absolutely fine. So, I don't know if it's a PRL or just preferred roaming list. Or if they have some configuration, I did try to call Freedom Pop. They do not seem to be able to help me. Anyway, so and lucky I have 4G LTE coverage in this area, which is another great thing about having this device. And you have to know in this area or in whatever area uses device, you have to keep in mind. You have to have 4G or LTE. If 4 LTE you don't have it, this device will be irrelevant for you. And Sprint do try to as the recording of this video of January 2016. Um, they do try to expand the 4G LTE and 4G WiMAX is no longer works. And for what for what is the device, like I said, for what is the device worth is actually great little piece of device. Be able to watch YouTube without any problem. And I did connect to up to 10 device. But the things like the max, maximum device that connect is 9 device. And sometimes it's just hard to connect. Uh, it may just happen to me, just I don't know, but um, you have to give yourself... But I would say normally five devices is good enough for this device because uh, you only get 12 megabits. That's the highest one that you get. And we are not going to do any proof, but that's because I try many, many times to record. It just don't seem happening. Just don't know how to provide. It just, I don't know how to edit a video. That's what I do in one take. And... You know, it's just not very, I'm not very good at the with editing video process. And the other thing is, I just forget, you can actually choose 3G only, which is if you want to save batteries, but like I said, 3G doesn't work. And now the battery, the thing is shutting down because the battery is very low, incredible low. So the boot time for this device is excellent 
um, you know, not like in a matter of second, but here's the Bhutan test. My file open first, and actually that's the battery's logo tell you, but we'll see. That I guarantee you that's the battery trying to reboot. But um, other than that, the batteries last pretty long time. No problem whatsoever. Uh, I don't. I didn't have battery problem. I didn't have anything apparently. Okay, so yeah, I didn't have the batteries issue. I didn't have anything like batteries issue. And right now, like I talk about it, I didn't expect this would popping up. You see, Sprint three G come up. This doesn't work. Even you had the three G service, which is kind of pain. But what are you gonna do? And they do have phone phone phoneware update. So yeah, you can say LTE only, which is that's what we wanted. Because if you say prefer LTE, it's actually waste more batteries to trying to look for other care uh lo other um internet alternate internet source. Which is, I'd rather you to just say preferred um, LTE. Just no, not preferred. Just only LTE. Just so you can save batteries on your MiFi device. So when you're in three G area, they just automatically cut off because it won't work on three G. What's the point to having the three G? So yeah, um, this device do uh, attempt attempt have SIM card in it. So his micro SIM card is not nano. Uh, it's not nano SIM card. It's not look like on the iPhone six. The SIM card is very small. It's the nano SIM, micro SIM or something like yeah. I don't. I kind of confused what the nano or micro. But either way, this device is pretty good, and we're going to go over the device um, icon, which is batteries. And device, how many device connected? Which is that's good to know if you have open network, because you you also be able to tell how many people connected. Which is right now nobody connected. And there another thing is, um, signal strength. We need to know that. And sometimes signal strength is not very accurate, but it still tell you something. Uh, spark. That's the sign. Look like sign logo. That was the Sun logo spark, and of course they will tell you this Sprint Spark LTE Wi-Fi. You can look the Wi-Fi name and what and password, etc. So all the information that you can get on your device, and this is tell you if you want to configure. That's what you do, and this is default password for the video purpose, and it's admin for the login administrator, and this is the the next is device, which is no device currently connected, uh, mobile network. That's tell you, like I said, this is the neg the the negative signal means the negative fifty is good, the best. The hundred is basically dead spot. But this spot, I think, it's like get yeah, about seven megabit without any problem. Um, yeah, an update, software update, and just tell you what's the last time it checked for update, and you want to exit. And info, which is I would rather not show because they have I M I M E I number. Um, home. I skip one. This is Wi-Fi protect the U P S setup basically. Uh, push to set up. There, I called WPS, and this call it. Yeah, that's what it is. WPS, and home, and that's it. And they do include a charger with you, but that's that's you know, the charger came with it. It's the manufacturing charger, and we are going to take a look at the back of the device. So this is how you do it. If I can open it, what here? So this is the battery. Uh, let me turn off this my five so I can uh, show you the batteries. Okay, unplug this.
this indicator light is actually pretty useful when it charging just constantly on but um, yeah okay seems like still trying to close him okay here it is so we're gonna take out and the back of this device there do have some uh, information that uh, what's the device which is I prefer not to show um, this it's the batteries which is if my camera focus 7 w 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. This is the spec of the battery. If you want to look, you can pause the video. Hopefully, this is clear enough for you guys. And do not throw in the trash, which is many people do it. Recycle it. Bring to eight Eagle ATM or any phone recycle place. They will recycle properly. So, yeah. Wireless. So, yes, yeah, from Sprint. Thank you for watching the part two. I think that's it. Thank you. Have great day. Sorry the video is too long. Bye bye.